Hey guys, welcome back to the next episode of the Toy Hauler Build. Over the next few days, I'll be piecing the chassis together. So to cut the large aluminium, the 152 by 76 for the chassis, I had to upgrade my saw. So I went with the uh, Evolution 255mm sliding compound miter saw from Total Tools. Paid full price there, $4.99. Um, no affiliation with those guys, um, but yeah, it seemed to be one of the better prices around. So the saw came with this multi-material blade, which I think it says there's a 28 tooth. Uh, it's more for cutting wood and general purpose cutting and it's just made to deal with wood that may have nails in it. Um, because I was going to be cutting aluminium non-stop, I upgraded to the Bosch uh, 100 tooth. So obviously many, many, many more teeth there. Cuts through it really, really nice. Uh, the saw is a 80 mil. So 80 mil in depth, that way depth of cut, and uh, 300 mil it's meant to be with the slide. So if I put the 152 by 76 in there laying down, you can come come right out to the edge, cut down, cut short like butter. The saw, obviously it's a compound miter saw. It does go 50 degrees side to side and also 45 degrees. That it lays over it's got measurements on the back fence there even though they're not not really precise i was cutting down to the to the millimeter so everything was measured and marked it's got a laser guide there which which helps a lot with lining it up even though i was double checking it with the tape uh, it's got a downwards clamp and then a horizontal clamp on this side and you can rotate them side to side so that pops out and can go over here and that one comes out of the back and can also go over there it's got all your usual things, um, you can limit the depth of cut, it's got dust collection if you're cutting wood, all that sort of stuff, so really good so far, really like it, and for 499 bucks, it's a pretty decent price I think, so I think it was maybe another 80 bucks for the blade, so not too bad. So the aluminium for the chassis is a 152 by 76 millimeter, 6 mil wall thickness, T6 aluminium. RHS. Uh, I could get it from, in Townsville here, I could get it from um, Ulrich or Capral. Uh, Capral was a couple of dollars cheaper, so I got it from those guys. Uh, the big difference, so between this and this 75 by 50 that I use for the frame of the deck, so obviously that's only a 3mm wall thickness, but that's a T5 aluminium and that's a T6. And from the main things I've read, it's to do with the strength, um, which comes from apparently the quenching process when it comes hot off the extrusion. So apparently when they cool this one, they air cool it, and it can take two to three days to cool down to room temperature. This one here, they water quench it, um, which obviously is much quicker and results in a much stronger hardness. So much more suited to a chassis application. So the first thing I want to do, bit by bit, is get the chassis rails level on the floor of the shed. So that 4.8 meter length that I've cut over that distance, it's not level, like it's touching. It's touching down there, and you can see the big gap up here. So even though the shed floor looks level, it's definitely not. So I'm going to try and get those two that edge to touch there, this edge to touch here square, and then probably shim that that bottom cross member there. So that's that's one of the um, drawbar lengths. Same with that in there. That's the other drawbar length, and then this is just some some offcuts. But I want to try and get all these square, sitting flat, and then try and get it square across the diagonals. Get everything butted up nice, and then I want to prep. Prep the corners, get this cross member in the middle lined up, and then yeah, buff all these edges back, clean all that tone, and try and get it all tacked before I go through and fully weld it. Got that exactly flush on the back here, square, clamped, prep that, and now try and run a tack on here, and get all this frame tacked together.
the top and the bottom of the chassis welded. Fairly happy with the welds. Now I need to start flipping this thing up on its sides and start welding. <sighs> start welding these ones in here to try and spread it out so I don't warp it. And then weld the seams on the end as well. And then that's the chassis frame done. through these big welds, pushing the welder pretty hard. Poor old air cooled torch, it's not water cooled. Between every run I've got to put it up on the fan here for 10 minutes. It's pretty hot. The welder's a 205 amp welder, running that at 200 amps. And I'm starting to feel on gas. She's pushing hard. You can even feel the heat in the earth lead. It's between warm and hot. And for some reason the buzz and noise and maybe the light is bringing in bugs everywhere. It's a plague of bugs. This guy flew in while I was halfway through a weld. Like, how bad do you want to die? Fucking, he got zapped in the actual flash. And then he had to sit there while I could... There's another one over there. They know what they are. He's dead. Welds are not too bad. You can see a little etching mark on the edge of the weld, like that's the cleaning, so it's cleaning all right. It's pretty flat, like it's not a big thick snail shit on top, so I don't know. I don't think it's going to fall apart. Time will tell. Bugs. Everywhere. Bug. Bug. He's fucking dead. Bug, on the bug. that one tool takes 10 minutes to find it and then you forget it's fucking broken damn it Not the bunnings are good another thing I've been working on for the last few weeks is my website uh, cannybrody.com for the people that watch the Adler shotgun videos I've designed a 3d printed magazine stand so it's like a cleaning or display stand that slides in the magwell. Sits the gun up on that. Pretty easy, that's up there. For people that have these Yeti Colster can cooler things and drink different beers that are in the smaller cans, like, like that one. That's a normal can, smaller can. So there's about two different heights of these. I think there's 115 mil high and 120 mil high. So I've got these Two different little spaces that go in the bottom of the can and space it up nice and neat so it sits inside the top. You can still use this. They're on there. And I've almost finished my design of the 22 cal ammo case that 
notches every 10 rounds. So that's almost finished. I just got to put the embossing on here, clean it up a little bit, but they'll be ready to go pretty soon. So keep an eye out for that. So that's the website, countybrody.com. Got the Instagram feed, what I'm up to on YouTube. Down the bottom here, you can sign up to the newsletter. There's no spam, it's just if I put something interesting up there, I'll send out an update. A few items in the shop, mag stand, working on a couple of t-shirt designs and the Eddie Colsters are there, so just a few items, but I'll keep adding each week. Once I finish the trailer, I'll upload all the design documents on here as well. It's a bit of a cheat sheet if you go to build one. Got the uh, All The Gear No Idea t-shirt, just got the Kenny Big logo on the front. If you know anyone that's got all the gear and no idea, grab a shirt and help out the channel. Back from Bunnings with some clamps, cheap ones, and decent new one. Right, let's get this draw bar in position. Trace out, fits neatly on there. A bit of a 
10 mil hanging over the edge there. Uh, I'll clean all this up over the edges and get that ready to weld. Uh, but first I'll clean that up, cut another one, and then I'll weld those two together before I weld it on there just so I can get the position a bit easier. Sunday and I've ran out of some consumables I need to finish welding the hitch and the shop's not open till tomorrow so I'll end this one off here so I can get this episode up tonight hopefully. Uh, next episode should be really exciting we're going to get the axles and wheels and tyres assembled so I bought them the other day and they should be here this week along with the um, cruise master hitch for the front and I've already got the jockey wheel back over there somewhere so pretty much good to be a roller after that so yeah get the wheels and axles assembled get that built up and get it underneath the chassis stuck it in the deck frame on top of that and it'll pretty much be a rolling trailer so starting to take shape and i'm really really pumped about that after days and days and days of work if you're liking the build if you could consider subscribing it really does help out getting the channel out there so more and more people can see it and it's and it's worth me doing it if you're doing a build of your own or got any feedback or comments you can see something i'm doing wrong that's gonna cause me dramas down the road let me know in the comments so yeah until next week thanks for watching